This is the former Shirebrook Colliery site, long since gone and developed and landscaped and is now one of our better former pit tops that we have here in Nottinghamshire. It does actually straddle the Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire border, in fact the border is a couple of hundred yards away to my right at the top of the hill. But I'm firmly ensconced on the Nottinghamshire side and I'm here looking for a migratory hawk moth or at least its larva and it's a species whose larva I've been trying to find for years and years and I think I've got a good chance here because there's a lot of its food plant which is ladies bed straw so larva are about now there's been one report at least in Nottinghamshire South Nottinghamshire of the species that I'm after and it's the larva of the hummingbird hawk moth And here is the end to that long quest of mine to find the larva of the hummingbird hawk moth. And this is an individual that looks pretty much full grown to me. It's over two and a half inches in length. A lovely sort of pale green with that white stripe running laterally down the side. And then a pale lemon yellow stripe further down. The spiracles you might just be able to make out are black but I can't express how much finding this actually means to me to end all those years there was hoped for years in which I might get to find one of these larva in Nottinghamshire the only time I have seen larva of hummingbird hawk moth was somewhere in Switzerland I think it was against Muir and top of the Lauter Brunnen Valley and was able to watch a female deposit two eggs on ladies bed straw growing there and I brought those back and reared them got them through to pupation but no adults ever emerged however I've seen hundreds of the adults and it's the larva that I've always wanted to find and who would have thought that I'd have found one on a former pit top site but here at Sharbrook on this eastern bank there is lots of ladies bed straw growing in amongst the grass it looked the ideal site but hummingbird hawk moth females can be particularly choosy about on which plants they lay but thankfully one female stopped to deposit her egg on this plant and here is the result of that egg and as the rain comes down I thought it's best if we have a closer look at this it is a very attractive larva and it does come in a number of colour forms the overall greenish tones of this one can be replaced by olive and even a pinkish brown and that's quite a striking coloration but all are marked similarly with those two lateral stripes you can see that pale lemon stripe there and then the white stripe and then there's turn this one round dorsally it's just plain green before the white and the lemon stripes are repeated on the other side of the caterpillar the adult moth 
of course, is familiar to most people, often as a brief visitor to the garden, or anywhere where valerian grows or similar nectar-bearing flowers occur. I've just started to grow ladies' bed straw in the garden. There's been nothing on it this year, but I was a bit late with it. However, next year, I'm hoping that I don't have to come to Shirebrook Colliery, or the former Shirebrook Colliery, to find one of these. I'm hoping that next year I can film one of these, actually, in my own garden. But all those years of looking for one of these, it's finally paid off. What's the old saying? Everything comes to he who waits. Which I don't mind. I just don't like having to wait years and years for that wait to be over. So what's next? Now, I've always had a hankering to find the larva of Convolvulus hawk moth. The chances of that in Nottinghamshire are pretty much zero. It's a fabulous thing and something that I've always dreamt of finding. And I've just noticed the horn on this particular individual. It's a beautiful sort of azure blue at the base and there's that sort of black band around before becoming a lovely golden yellow at the tip. It's a super thing. These aren't large hawk moth caterpillars. I say this one is well, getting on towards three inches, I suppose, but this one is stretched out at the moment and enjoying this lady's bed straw. It's a super thing. And probably within a couple of days, this one will be going to the base of this lady's bed straw in amongst the dead grasses and it'll pupate on the surface and then in, in a couple of weeks it'll be time to keep an eye on that valerian in the garden and look out for the adult hummingbird hawk moth a long wait ended <laughs>